Carrie Coon is making sure that her Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire co-star Paul Rudd always stays humble. The actress, who plays Spengler family matriarch Callie in the spooky sequel, jokingly tells Entertainment Weekly that she made a concerted effort not to crack up at any of Rudd's on-set shenanigans this time around after the pair previously starred opposite one another in 2021's Ghostbusters, Afterlife. I make it my personal responsibility on set to not laugh at everything Paul does, she teases. Everyone else is always laughing at what Paul does, and so I really, really fight it hard. Instead, Kuhn says she prefers to opt for a more antagonistic approach to Rudd's good humor. I try to make him feel bad about himself, she jokes. I feel like it gets the best work out of him. Rudd, however, isn't phased by Kuhn's cool reaction to his comedy, cheekily quipping back. I don't think it's ever been a challenge for anybody to not laugh at the stuff that I do. And besides, Rudd makes himself laugh enough as it is. The actor, who stars as Callie's love interest Gary Gruberson, confesses that he's bad at not cracking up while filming, especially when his job genuinely requires him to dramatically recite the lyrics to Ray Parker Jr.-esque Ghostbusters, theme tune like it does in Frozen Empire. I tend to crack up on most things I work on. I will always have moments where I kind of lose it and render a take unusable, he explains. In that scene in particular, I don't think I laughed, but I never thought they'd actually use it in the movie. But they did. And the moment comes at a critical point in Callie and Gary's relationship when the pair must decide whether to stick around and fight for their ghost-busting careers or pack up the entire family, including Callie's children Trevor, Finn Wolfhard, and Phoebe, McKenna Grace, and head back to Somerville. They're not necessarily making ends meet, but they're doing their best, Kuhn says of the pair. At the same time, she adds that Gary's also trying to figure out his place in their little family world. That's right because we're not married. I'm not their father, he agrees. But I care deeply about these kids. And we're trying to define what we are in the midst of all of this potential world-ending craziness. Sounds like a very chill time for everyone involved. 